jagged mass of molded steel. You're an intricate web of precision-tested gears and wheels. You're a Hercules, Atlas, Samson, Goliath, and then some. You've the power of a cavalry charge under your hood. You're a locomotive. These are the trains you haul, passenger and freight. To a future engineman, dreaming of his railroad world, you're a model engine on the living room track. Or just a page in his picture book. But in the grown-up world, you're the backbone of the America you helped to make. The America that helped make you. You're the link between the rolling countryside and the busy city. You're the heart of every railroad train. Your veins are the endless miles of track. Your home is a vast yard of trains, track, and steel wheels rolling. At you, locomotive. Railroad men call you a GG1, but you're just plain electric to me. Your day is a busy one. The men who handle you in the yards are called hostlers. And here's your hostler taking you to the sand house early in the morning. There they load you with the sand you need for traction when you start up from a dead stop. Here it is, shooting between wheel and track. Next, you're off to the inspection pit, where you get your regular safety check. Your couplers are inspected. They must be powerful, able to haul hundreds of tons. You've got the strongest handshake in the world. Your hostler keeps you moving. It's over to the fueling station next, so you can take on fuel and water. Yes, that's a woman working on you. Women came to work on the railroad during World War II, and they're still at it. Now you're off to the beauty parlor. You want to look your best for the children of all ages who'll wave at you as you roll by. Curved platforms swing into place, the gates close on you, and men go over you with powerful detergents. Your power is off, and a pusher, known in railroad language as a pig or Barney, starts you on your way. Railroad men call it the cleanest pig in the world, and it's certainly the strongest. Giant brushes tickle your sides, loosening the dirt. Whirligigs spray jets of steam and hot water to remove grease from the wheels, journals, springs and underframes. frames. 
a final spray of fresh water rinses you thoroughly. Housekeeping is a daily routine on the cars you'll pull. Now you're ready for the daily run. That mechanism on top of you is called a pantograph. It contacts the overhead wires, giving you electric energy for power. You'll need plenty of that for your day's work. There's a celebrity on the track today. It's the President's special car, a familiar sight at whistle stops all over the country. There's the seal of the President of the United States. This car was specially built for Franklin D. Roosevelt. Later used by Harry S. Truman and Dwight D. Eisenhower, it has built-in loudspeakers above the rear platform. Maybe someday you'll pull the presidential train, a special honor for a locomotive. Before leaving the yard, your train is loaded with food for hungry passengers. Here, the steward checks the cargo to see that everything is in apple pie order. Railroad diners serve 15 million people across the nation each year. The food and service is of the finest quality, unsurpassed anywhere. The diner. Nothing could be finer than dinner in the diner. With a flip of the switch, you're off to the laundry. Here you'll pick up clean tablecloths, napkins, and bed linen. Look at the size of that machine. It's big enough for two months of mom's laundry. Now you're ready to leave the yard. Leave home and go out into the big wide world. You go under New York's famed East River and tunnel below the United Nations building, the capital of the world, to the busy terminal where passengers are anxiously awaiting you. The railroads carry upwards of a half billion passengers annually. 